Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. The importance of chips in modern technology is unquestionable. Not only are many emerging industries inseparable from the support of chip computing power, but many electronic equipment, home appliances, and even various weapons used in China's daily life are inseparable from chips. Russia, which cannot purchase chips from abroad, can only accelerate the development of independent chips. Now Russia has manufactured the first Russian lithography machine that can produce 350 nanometers processed chips. According to news reported by many foreign media, such as TASS on May 21, Russia plans to launch a machine in 2026 that can produce 130 nanometers chips. The source of the photolithography machine equipment for manufacturing chips was disclosed by Russian Deputy Minister of Industry and Trade Vasily during the 2024 Russian Industrial Digital Industry Exhibition. It has to be said that although Russia's chip and semiconductor industry has been heavily dependent on foreign countries for a long time, and the development of its local industrial chain and technology is relatively slow and backward. Russia's spirit and measures in achieving localization are also worthy of China's learning. For a long time in the past, many domestic manufacturers have adhered to the idea of it is better to buy than to build, and it is better to rent than to buy. After the restriction of the U.S. chip ban, many Chinese companies have also realized the error of this idea. Since then, many Chinese companies have increased their R&D investment and production capacity expansion in chip self-research and the chip industry chain, further promoting the development of Chinese chip technology and production capacity and also occupying a place in the international semiconductor market. Going back to the incident itself, for Russia, although the 350 nanometers process lithography equipment cannot meet the demand for domestic chip production, it can basically guarantee Russia's chip use needs in the fields of home appliances, military weapons and other fields. A key step forward in the chip semiconductor industry Judging from the current situation, as Russia continues to strengthen the construction of its local chip industry chain, Russia is also developing very rapidly in the field of chip semiconductors. In addition, Chinese manufacturers in many fields have begun to accelerate shipments to the Russian market, whether it is chips, semiconductor equipment, or various materials. The number of Chinese companies shipping to the Russian market is increasing rapidly, which has further helped Russia accelerate the development of the local chip industry chain. However, judging from the current situation alone, Russia still has a long way to go before it can achieve domestic chip substitution. The technical level and yield rate of Russian local chip manufacturing companies in chip production are still far behind international standards. At the same time, it is difficult for Russian chip design companies to complete the design of advanced chips due to the lack of sufficient EDA design software, chip instruction, set architecture, and other software and system support. From the perspective of the development of the overall chip industry chain, Russia obviously still has a long way to go. However, judging from the actions of China and Russia in starting chip localization replacement plans and building a local chip industry chain, today's chip market structure is quietly changing. The United States and the West have imposed sanctions on Russia's chip and semiconductor industry. After Russia accelerates the development of its local chip industry chain, it may also be able to cooperate with China in more fields and jointly promote the development of the chip industry chain.
It will also help Chinese chips enter the Russian market and may even promote Chinese chips to create an independent and parallel chip industry chain dominated by the United States and the West. As the influence of China chip in the international market continues to increase, more and more countries have begun to choose to cooperate with China chip, and Russia is one of them. While Russia is accelerating the development of its local chip industry chain, China chip has also delivered an excellent answer. Judging from public data, in the first quarter of 2024, China's integrated circuit production capacity reached 98.1 billion units, a year-on-year -year growth of 40%. The strong return of Huawei's Kirin chips has enabled China chip to take a key step in the field of chip design. SMIC's four wafer fabs have gradually been completed and put into use, which has also allowed China's chip production capacity to rapidly increase. As Chinese chip companies perform increasingly well in domestic and foreign markets, many foreign media believe that the US ban on Chinese chips has basically lost its meaning. The most important thing is that Russia is constantly moving forward along the path of Chinese chip development, and it has once again proved that the chip ban will only lead to the counter-effect of technology blockade. Judging from the current situation, the American chip companies that have been most affected by the chip ban are actually American core companies. In other words, in this round of US and Western sanctions against Russia, the most severely damaged companies are American and Western companies. After American and Western companies successively withdrew from the Russian market, Chinese companies began to enter the Russian market on a large scale. Whether it is various daily necessities or various equipment and technological products, the share of Chinese companies in the Russian market is constantly increasing. There is no doubt that whether it is the technology industry or the chip industry itself, Russia is accelerating local substitution, and Chinese companies have also begun to accelerate their entry into the Russian market. The US restrictive measures seem to be making American companies uncomfortable. If you agree with this video, please like it, welcome to repost, leave a message and share it.